Today is without doubt one of the biggest games in the history of Dulwich Hamlet as they take on Macclesfield Town in the last eight of the FA Trophy. Dulwich have only reached this stage once before back in 1980 when they took Boston United to a replay at Champion Hill following a 0-0 draw, ultimately losing 2-0. They warmed up for today by beating Barkinside 7-1 in the London Senior Cup in midweek. Quay Taylor, Nathan Green, Ibrahim Kargbo, Mark Weatherstone, Sanchez Ming, Gavin Tomlin and Ashley Crew all return whilst the Mibi DeMarket is fit for the bench. Macclesfield last reached the stage back in 1996, which was also the year they won their second title in this competition. They've won the last two games without conceding, and John Askey makes just the one change from their win at Eastleigh. Danny Whittaker coming in for Connor Jennings. Can Dulwich earn another famous victory this afternoon, or will the Silkmen end their dream and advance to the semi-finals? <laughs> Drage dispossessed Chris Holroyd unfairly, says the referee. Summerfield standing over this free kick, pretty central. A few players converging into the area. He's gone for goal from distance and in! All the way through from Luke Summerfield. And Macclesfield with their first shot of the game. Take an early lead in this one. Didn't seem like the shot was on for him, but it skipped all the way through and bounce in front of Preston Edwards and Dulwich fall behind early on. Four men in the Dulwich wall, Ming, Tomlin also around it. Drill straight into the wall, good block, I think it was Ming. Comes out for Fitzpatrick, blocked by Ming again. Beanie. And was fouled. Scott Flinders sends that wide. Well controlled by Reese Brown. Callum Evans, Brown again. Summerfield, spread it to the near side is David Fitzpatrick. Lined up to cross, side against it, Whitaker. he does send in the ball. Drage heads away, Brown brings it down, shots of handball, referee was well positioned, said no. Holroyd will go for goal from distance, Edwards has his body behind it and gathers at the second attempt. Crew trying to dispossess him, Brown goes on, rides a challenge of Beanie and he can break away, it's four up in this attack at the moment. Lisa Summerfield, that's another great pass from him. Whitaker, first touch, just falls a little wide. Keep under his control. James. Whitaker inside for Summerfield, lovely first touch. We'll go for goal from distance and over the top. Holroyd was onside. It was a miscued shot from Summerfield and Holroyd blazes over from close range. Lovely attack from the Silkmen. Edwards gives that away. Uncharacteristic. He's gone for goal. That's brilliant. What a great second goal from Luke Summerfield. And Dulwich have a mountain to climb after just 17 and a half minutes. Well, Edwards' clearance was uncharacteristic from him. Went straight to Luke Summerfield. And he's curled an effort over the goalkeeper for his second goal, his side second goal. Good straight for Beanie against Holroyd. Good example set by the captain there. Cargbo towards the Kadja. Bit of a height mismatch in there. Come for Carew. Can he find space to uh, create something? Yes, he can. Able to find Green on that far side again. Lovely feet from Green this time. Cross deflects. Another corner. Dulwich growing into this one now. Green will make his way into the area. Taylor and Drage and Weatherstone all forwards. Ming's in there as well. Only Beanie and Cargbo back for Dulwich for this delivery. Tomlin, to a dangerous area, Weatherstone was in there. It's come for Taylor! Dulwich on the score sheet! It's Quay Taylor's first ever goal for the club! And they're back in the game! Well, the ball in caused confusion, Taylor pounced! And the Dulwich fans have something to cheer about today. Tomlin's ball in. A lot of bodies going for it. It dropped for Taylor. He sorted his feet out. Smashes it down the middle. Brown finds Weatherstone. Sakadja. Couldn't quite poke it on for Carew and Macclesfield are back in possession. With Whitaker on this near side. Four shirts making the run in front of him. Goes to his right side. Hancock. Gets uh, the ball stuck under his feet. Sakadja, Tomlin, still Tomlin, pokes it goalwards. And not far wide, I think it deflected, it is another corner. Flinders called it, Flinders punches. Was caught there, the goalkeeper. 
Green flying into him. As far as the referee didn't actually blow up there, Green went flying into the goalkeeper. Beanie with the second ball. Flinders again looking for it. Again punches. That's good goalkeeping. So catch it wide. Green. Listen to the noise. It's Ming on that far side. Taken on Evans. Onto his right foot towards Sakaja. Flicks on. It's Tomlin. Sakaja! Blocked by Byrne. And Macclesfield clear. Tomlin. Weatherstone gets up. Header goalwards and Flinders tips away. Whitaker didn't prevent the corner though. Good save by Flinders. It was looping towards the top of the net there. Tomlin. Ming hadn't continued his run. Whitaker's able to clear. Could have taken more time than he did. Kagbo. It's a great header forward. Sakadja. Kagbo again. Speculative to say the least. And over from Ibrahim Kagbo. Just first time ball in. Blocked by Green. And he picks out James. Pulls it back. Beanie with a good challenge on Holroyd. Maybe he should have gone for goal first time there, Chris Holroyd. Towards Tomlin here. And great for Sakadja kindly. Dalajev two up in this attack. Cruz joining as well. Well found by Sakadja. Crew into the area. Towards the near post. On his weaker foot and into the side netting from Carew. Dolage's first chance of the second half. Kagbo almost exposed. Did all right in the end. It's up in the air by Evans. Clearance only finds Ming. Support is from Beanie. Just chipped into Gavin Tomlin in the area. Can he find room for a shot? Has Carew at the edge of the area to drill it. And straight at Scott Flinders. One to warm the palms of the goalkeeper. Held it well, Flinders. Be behind Cargbo, but it comes for uh, Weatherstone. Well controlled by Sakadja. Unlucky, great challenge on him by Fitzpatrick. The crowd want a foul. Looks fair from here. Sakadja's okay in any case. Ming held up by Danny Whittaker. Cargbo, Carew, Cargbo again. Sakadja, Tomlin. This is good fluid football from the host. Ming arriving, great ball in, takes a deflection. It's come for Green. Deflects into the arms of the goalkeeper. Taylor, Summerfield, lovely ball. Reese Brown, trying to stretch his legs against Taylor here. Just held up by the uh, centre back. Force infield Brown, he's got away from Carew and Cargo and Taylor. Whitaker could have left it for James. Whitaker drills it, goal, takes deflection. Offside flag was raised belatedly. Holroyd tapped it home. Dolish sending the troops forward again. Tomlin. Drage gets up! Wrong side of the post. Big chance in the second half for Dolage. Matt Drage, who's got two in his last four. Couldn't make it three and five. Late goal. Moved up front in midweek and scored as well. Came off the bench last weekend and scored, so he's in good form. Pulled back by Hancocks to Brown, into the area. Lays it off. The cross goal and all the way through. Whitaker was arriving. And uh, Charles for Macclesfield to probably seal the tie had that gone in. And Sir uh, Pilkinson sends that long. Hacked away by Ming up towards Erskine. Trying to control on the chest burn. So to hack clear, a bit rushed with his clearance. Didn't need to be. Here's Sakadja. Carew. DeMarca. Erskine. Carew! Yes! Oh, it's Ashley Carew! What a goal late on in the game! Dulwich may have forced a replay. It's that man, Carew, again! What scenes here at Champion Hill! Move of the game. Carew fires that across Flinders into the far corner. And Dalich on 2 0 down have found themselves level here. Edwards will send this long, looking towards Earth, Giddy Phil. Might be DeMarker instead. Carew. Speculative, why not? 
almost caught Flinders out. Well, the wind took hold of that one from Carew. They have the corner. And they go short. Whitaker can bring this forward. Dolly slow to come out to him. Chipped in. Head of Goldwoods. Foul. Dulwich survive. That's the full-time whistle. Dulwich have a famous draw this afternoon against Macclesfield Town. Ashley Carew salvaging a draw, which means they'll go to Moss Rose on Tuesday night. His 87th minute leveller, ensuring an unlikeliest of comebacks. They were 2-0 down after 18 minutes. Two goals from Luke Summerfield, seemingly giving Macclesfield control in this one. Quay Taylor had given Dulwich hope before half-time. Dulwich came out with all guns blazing in the second period. Scott Flinders by far the busiest the two goalkeepers and that Carew equaliser three minutes from time means we'll go again Tuesday night final score on this historic afternoon for Dulwich Hamlet in this FA Trophy quarter final is Dulwich 2, Macclesfield Town 2 yeah, Firstly how proud are you of your side for not for the first time this season to come back in a trophy game like that Yeah very proud, um, I thought uh, we rose to the occasion, obviously two, two goals down uh, it was a little bit of a blow, but it was an occasion once uh, we went the two goals down. Uh, some people could have folded, uh, some teams may have folded over the years, uh, but we showed great uh, character <clears throat> and passed the ball really well at times. And, um, I thought um, on the balance of play we were probably the better team on the day, um, and uh, on another day we might have won it. Show great character. You know, went 2 0 down, like you say. Um, two sloppy goals, very sloppy goals, not like a, not how we wanted to start, but like I say, Show great character to come back against a team like Macclesfield. It's a great feeling. And we've got to go again Tuesday. We've got to make sure we do a job Tuesday because it sort of takes it away from today, you know. Um, but listen, we're still in the hat. Draw Monday. It's exciting for everyone involved with Dulwich. You know, we, uh, we sat as a cause an upset. Is it an upset? Not fully, but um, we make sure the upset happens on Tuesday. We're buzzing. We uh, gave them two early goals which kind of killed us, but which did show character to get back into the game, to be fair. Done well. I was going to say, the 70 minutes after that goal, would you say you guys were on top? It felt that way. Uh, obviously, they're a good team, but so are we, and I think we showed that. The way you really attacked their full Sanchez and Nathan, that first half, really getting at them. It was uh, pleasing to see. They were good. A pair of them were very good. Um, they were brave. Um, they, they made them mark. They asked questions of them, which is what we want. And, um, and it put them on the back foot a little bit more and gave them something to worry about. Um, I thought the two forward players held the ball up really well um, and showed good movement. So um, <clears throat> all round, I thought we, we, did, we gave a good account of ourselves. Was uh, Ash the only person who could have scored that goal right at the end when he needed it most? He's a lad, isn't he? Hey, Ashley Carew. He, uh, listen, I, I can't praise him enough. He, he's, a, he's a great ball. And when playing against him, you always know he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's got talent. I'm not going to praise him too much, but listen, that's the norm. You know, it, that's, that's Ashley Carew for you. And he, uh, he said at the start of the game he, he'll score. And uh, I think the, the, the whole hype of the game to score from 2 1, 2 1 down to make it 2 2, it just makes the occasion even better for him. So good luck to him, and he's going to score many more. I think Ash is, uh, I mean, his, his effort afterwards um, from, I don't know, near the halfway line just sort of sums him up. He does things on the pitch where you think maybe he shouldn't have done that then, wrong timing, but also he's equally um, able of doing really special things. So you've got to take it, um, <clears throat> the rough and the smooth of him because uh, when the smooth comes, it's like moments like that today and um, it's not the first time he's done that. It's definitely up there. Um, I enjoyed every minute of it, but uh, job's far from over, so I need to... Uh, do it again Tuesday if I can. You've enjoyed in particular this FA Trophy run. I think you scored four goals in the last three games in the competition. Are you obviously enjoying having that free roll just behind the strikers? I, I do like it. It's a bit different for me, but uh, I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. Plan B worked as well. You brought Didi off the bench, you brought Jacob off. More direct approach and it really paid off in that final 10 minutes. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously um, football is horses for horses. We're losing 2-1 at home in the FA Trophy. Um, you know, what do, what do you do? Do you... Do you you know, you've got to throw, throw, the, throw the dice and, and, and give it a go, and I thought we did that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. I thought the pair of them came on, they were a handful, <coughs> looked after them all well, and obviously gave the two and a half a, a rough time. How great has it been to be involved in the White Hawk win coming back there, the two games against Braintree where you dominated that then today? Just, it's just it's been such a special run in this competition, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I said on social media earlier, you don't, in, in your career, in a football career, you don't get um, many opportunities to play in big games, you know, and so when it, when it happens, it's... Uh, it's great, it's a great occasion to play in and to beat a Whitehawk, 
and then to go and beat Braintree, but beat Whitehall four one. We was underdogs for that game, and then you got Braintree. Um, I felt like we dominated their ground at nil nil, and then we done them five two here, five two against a conference national team. It's a great result, and then uh, being two nil down here to come back to two two two. It's great. It's a, it's, it's a great feeling, and I'm 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 getting on now. I'm 29, but I'm, I still feel the buzz. You know, even coming to the ground, you get that goosebumps. You start to sort of either. I feel now I might score the 89th minute uh, winner. It'd be nice, you know, but I don't score many, so I don't know why I thought about that. But um, no, listen, I, I'm pleased for all the lads. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a great feeling, but now we've got to make sure we put it right Tuesday. The last round winning against Braintree over two games, uh, you outclassed Whitehawk for that 20 minute period down on the south coast. Shows you no mugs against the big teams. Yeah, uh, we're doing well. We've had a great cut run, but the job's far from over, so just need to carry that on. Do you think you can go again Tuesday and produce a similar kind of levels that you did today? Definitely. I think uh, giving them two early goals did kill us, but I think we can do it. I think we can. Magic of the Cup and this sort of competition, seeing Quay Taylor of all people get you back in the game as well. Yeah, it was good. I mean, obviously the ball bouncing around the box, you um, you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes it don't fall your way, but I was happy it was Quay because he's, uh, he's technically very sound and um, you know, he's a good strike on the ball to score. Listen, you make a nuisance of yourself in the box um, from set pieces. I mean, I'm taking an assist for that. Uh, I, won the, I won the header um, to Kuwait, so that's my defenders' union. But you know what? I'm pleased with the lad. I mean, he's, he, he hasn't got much match time of late, but because obviously I feel like we've we've done well at the back at times. And uh, he comes in, scores a goal, plays well. What, job done, really, you know? How great was it with that giant fan base, 2,800 plus in, in, inside Champion Hill today? Yeah, brilliant. It's good. It's a great atmosphere. It's what you'd love to to bring to the club week in, week out. Um, I think we've probably got gained a few more supporters today, which is great. Um, and obviously a lot of respect as well along the way. So well done, but we've got work to do now. We've got a plan for uh, for Tuesday night up at Macclesfield. Uh, we've got a job to do to see if we can uh, progress even further. Listen, you, you walk out on the pitch, even even, though, even when you was warming up, they start they start singing, you know, it, it's, it's a great feeling. It gives, it gives, like I said, the buzz, they give you that buzz as well. Um, and I think it's important, you know, we've got a massive crowd. They've all given up their Saturday to come watch us. We want to put a display for them. Um, I felt we did. You know, I felt we did to make it 2 2. I'm ho hopefully they go home happy. I can't see all those making a trip to Macclesfield on Tuesday night to Manchester. But, you know, I hope, hopefully made them proud. Um, and hopefully we can make the playoffs in the league. Because let's, let's be honest, I mean, Tuesday, our replay puts another league game back. For me, the league is, is the bread and butter for us. We, I want playoffs um, with this cup run. It just makes it exciting. Any cup run. Is, is exciting. We're in all cups now, aren't we? So we ain't out any cups, so I think it'll be a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday game soon. I don't know if my old legs can take them all, but we'll see. We'll see. But um, no, it's exciting, like I keep saying.